Great work, everybody. And I pray that the joy that was found in all of those crafts will be realised through this tricky time that we're all going through and in the year ahead. But, of course, somebody is going to win from all those crafts. The prize being to choose which breakfast leader gets to face the pie a little bit later. Now, just to whet your appetite, let's go back to last week where Emily chose Alison to face the pie and we all got to witness Stephen's cooking in action. Hello everybody. All this talk about shepherds at Christmas makes me wonder why shepherd's pie isn't a traditional Christmas dish. So I'm going to make a shepherd's pie. Stephen's doing the mash for me because he makes the best mashed potato. Really, really creamy. You've got to try it sometime. Stephen? Have you got the mash for the pie? Yes, ma'am. I thought I'd got away with that one. Thank you, Alison, and well done, Emily, for the craft that let you make that choice. But now it is time to reveal who won the craft this week. And there was a standout entry, even amongst a lot of excellent entries. And the one Sharon picked to win this week was this fantastic effort from Alex D. Now, well done to Alex. That means he gets to choose who faces the pie a little bit later. But first, let's get to this week's service. And as we start our new series and also we start another period at home, let's just bring all of it to God. Let's lay at his feet all that came before this week in a time of prayer. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you now in the knowledge that it is only you who can fully forgive us all our mistakes. And you do so willingly time and time again. We are sorry for the burdens that we put on you, Lord, for the many times that we mess up. And we ask you to help us once more to start again. Lord, let us lift up our failures and ask you to just discard them, to be done with them as we move forward in a new way this week. Amen. OK, it's time for a bit of worship now. And we are going to start with the song Mighty to Save, which talks about how everybody needs somebody to save them. And in this difficult time, we can all be joyful that the one this is all for has already saved us. He's already renewed us. He's already promised us a better time ahead. So let's let that knowledge fill us up as we sing. Afterwards, Sharon is going to be bringing us today's story, so I'll see you after that. <laughs> 